you just keep doing whatever you think is working, and but you don't actually know what is working. You feel very upset with yourself that you didn't have the self-control. Sometimes I was mindful of what I was eating, but I had no willpower. Since the 1950s, scientists have looked at weight management through the homeostatic hunger lens. Homeostatic hunger is controlled by the hypothalamus, the part of the brain that tells us when to start and stop eating based on our blood sugar levels. In theory, this process should stop us from overeating, but we do overeat. The question is, why? Things like functional MRIs and PET scans have allowed us to take a look inside the human brain and see what's going on, not only in the hypothalamus with that homeostatic model, but other parts of the brain. And it's showing some really interesting findings. Enter the concept of hedonic hunger, or eating for pleasure. New research has uncovered that a person's appetite can be physiologically triggered by the sight, sound, smell, or even the thought of highly palatable foods. That is, foods that are most often high in sugar or fat. So how do you take control when you live in an obesogenic world that sends signals to eat at every corner and every minute? Every street that you go down, there are countless different fast food places or drive throughs If you're hungry, you can literally get food within probably two minutes. So even though you're full and you're saying, oh, I just can't handle it, we're gonna go for it because it's just so good, it looks so good, it looks so good. 